Hello and welcome to my channel Fred Makes Things. This is another unboxing video so it's Fred Opens Things. Today we are unboxing the July Sewers Club uh, subscription box. Uh, this is a monthly box uh, that I have been subscribed to since January. Um, so this is going to be my seventh project with them. Um, like always, I have cut this open and then handed the box off to my husband um, where he um, covered up um, like uh, private information like my name and um, passwords for the online tutorials. So I haven't seen what's inside of here yet. So um, let's get to that, I guess. Okay, so today we have the Raw Edge Patchwork Purse. Finished size 10 by 16. Hmm. Seems interesting. Okay. Um, so this is your right project card with the instructions. Then this is your little like what you have inside. So it looks like we're getting a bunch of different um, materials so that we have like all of this different patchwork stuff. Yeah, the July project is here. This month we created a raw edge patchwork purse using five inch charms to play with colors and techniques. My uh, project's materials are one of eight five inch charms by Maywood Studios, four by 44 inch of coordinating fabric for the bake handles and raw edge patchwork purse Pattern by Serena Victoria. And then these are the add-ons, which we will see as we unbox. So these is the 42 charms. That's pretty. I like the colors. Mm, polka dots. I love polka dots. That's pretty too. So yeah, we have a stack of um, charms, I guess they're calling them, little pieces of fabric. Uh, I, it looks like there's 42 of them in here, and they're all in sorted colors. So we've got like um, plaids and polka dots, and really, really subtle patterns. I don't know if you can even see that on camera. Um, stripes, arrows. I don't know what those are called. Yeah, more polka dots, mint colors, teals, greens, you get the idea. Pretty, very, very pretty. Um, and then this is the coordinating pattern for the um, handle, that's a pretty color too. I like that. Um, then we're going to have the batting for the purse. A sewing. Oh yeah, a wrist pin cushion. A wrist pin cushion. Um, 
which I'm guessing I'm going to need based on how the pattern looks. That took me a minute, but there you go. It says love sewing on it. Um, and then we have our coordinating thread, which is yellow. The batting, like I said, and a little um, fabric ripper. That's not what it's called. Well, it is kind of called that. Seam ripper. Yeah, that's what it's called. Seam ripper. That's cool. I've been thinking I needed a new seam ripper. And that's it. Batting, coordinating fabric, pin cushion, a stack of blocks, seam ripper, coordinating pattern or coordinating thread. Cool, cool. Oh, and then these are um, the eight different blocks you could get. And I got this polka dot one. Looking at them, I think I would have probably been happy with any of them. They all look pretty cool to me. It'll be interesting to see what my cousin gets. Um, yeah, well, I'll tell you what she gets. Um, yeah, and then just as a reminder, this is what the pattern is this month. All right, um, okay, so my opinion. I haven't made it yet, so right, stay tuned for that. Um, but usually I'm getting good at looking at the project and being and deciding whether or not I like it or not. Um, and I'm just I'm gonna be honest and say I I don't like raw edge things. I never have. I've never been a fan of raw edge of anything. I like nice and clean um, lines. I, I don't like how messy it looks. There's just, there's nothing about a raw edge that speaks to me. So what I'm most likely going to do is pick out the colors or the patterns in this, um, in these, in this block, pick out the ones I'm not as big a fan of, ones that will work with that yellow thread. Um, and you like these greens, I'm not a big green person. Um, yeah, that's my fabric. Um, anyway, something that will look nice with the pink um, handle fabric and go well with the thread and go from there. Um, I'll make it, I'll talk about it, discuss it, that kind of idea. Um, but I'm most likely just going to end up giving this project away. It, it's really, it doesn't speak to me at all. But uh, I'm excited to learn a new um way of making things like I've said before I am fairly new to sewing so um, any any new um, things are always exciting for me um, yeah um, and I'll give you just a real quick life update too if you care if not thanks for watching I'll talk to you again soon but um quick life update I am still in my apartment um, yeah, um, like I said in previous, or like I've said in previous videos, um, my husband and I bought a house or, 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 or are in the process of buying a house, I should say. Um, everything was going well, but then there was some hiccups with our closing. So, um, everything's been pushed back a week. So I'm kind of sitting in a weirdly packed house, um, just waiting to be given the go-ahead to move. Uh, it's not that big of a deal because um, we've been going through a heat wave and it's been nice having air conditioning and in the new house we won't have that. Um, all of that to say that um, since I'm going to be a week behind in everything, I am not sure when I'm going to get this done. Um, my sewing machine is packed um, and hidden amongst a bun bunch of boxes. My um, square is packed. 
my cutting thing, ruler, whatever is packed. Um, my cutting mat is packed. Everything is packed. So I'd have to go and dig out a bunch of stuff to be able to do this before we move. So hopefully I'll get uh, it done and up for you in two weeks, which would be July 21st, um, my birthday. Um, but I'm just going to give you a warning that it may be pushed back to July 28th or sometime in between those two weeks or sometime within that week. We'll see. Anyway, um, I think that's it. Uh, like always, thank you for watching. Um, let me know what you think of this project. Let me know which colorway you got and if you're excited about it. Um, it's always exciting to hear what other people get. Um, let me know what you think about Live Edge too. Are you a fan? Or Raw Edge, I should say. It's not Live Edge. It's not a tree. Um, are you a... Actually, that's one like raw edge, live edge, I like is like raw edge, live edge um, furniture, like uh, tables and things like that. I think those are just absolutely beautiful. Anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so let me know what you think about these patterns. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, talk to you again soon. Bye.